Earlier in the month, the Overwatch League canceled all their March and April homestands, which of course was no shocker, but we actually got a pleasant surprise yesterday that they actually announced a new weekend for OWL games, that being this weekend, the 28th and 29th, where we would get 16 games to be played. But the Toronto Defiance coach, Fief, went on stream and he said that we might not be able to actually see those games or most of those games, especially the ones with Korean heavy rosters because the Koreans were actually planning to go back to Korea to avoid the coronavirus issue here in the US. It hasn't been confirmed yet that they'll be going back to Korea, but they apparently want to leave because the United States was actually estimated to become the next epicenter for the coronavirus. And according to FIF, they're scared to stay in the US because of the healthcare system here. And it's actually probably a lot safer to go back to Korea than it is to be in the US right now. And I don't think you can blame them. You know, it's kind of a, like, especially with just how, like, how rapidly the issue has been evolving here, but it could mean it could mean a completely different weekend. Let me show you guys how many teams could potentially be affected by this. Let's look at the NYXL first, where they have a full Korean roster. So if they end up going back to Korea, that means that their upcoming games against Atlanta and the Boston Uprising would be canceled. Same goes for the London Spitfire, which is another team that has a full Korean roster. And if their games were canceled, that means that their games with the Paris Eternal and Toronto Defiant would be canceled. And the Florida Mayhem, they have a Korean roster too, which means that their games against the Washington Justice and Atlanta Reign would also be canceled. The San Francisco Shock, they have a heavy Korean roster, so their games against the Gladiators and the Valiant would also be canceled. Both the Gladiators and the Valiant have three Koreans as well, so that puts them at risk too. And of course, the Vancouver Titans have a full Korean roster as well, and the Fuel are in a similar situation with a few Koreans on their team. So I hope that that wall of information and hypothetical game cancellations wasn't too overwhelming, but that's just how crazy all of this is. It's like a domino effect, you know, and same goes for the Shanghai Dragons, the Guangzhou Charge, the Hangzhou Spark, they would all be affected too. Pretty much only the Chengdu Hunters are the only ones with a full Chinese roster, but they're still going against full Korean teams, so pretty much the entire weekend could be affected. And this is insane to me. There's a few teams that could get by with losing some of their players, like Boston and Atlanta, just because... They have a crap ton of people signed to their team, but when they lose some of their mainstay Korean players, we might be seeing some of these teams actually changing around roles and players being put in positions that they don't typically play. But like I mentioned before, Dallas and Atlanta are both going against Korean teams. So if they do go back to Korea, the Overwatch League is gonna have to kind of shuffle around the teams that are currently scheduled to play against each other. And those that do still have functioning teams, like I said before, they might just be missing some of their core players and they might have to do some role swaps. So we could potentially be seeing a completely different OWL weekend than what was planned with them just changing which team plays which team. But if not that, the weekend as a whole might just end up getting canceled. And Blizzard and Overwatch League have not commented on it yet. They have not confirmed whether or not this is the case. But if those Korean players are going to be returning to Korea and if the Toronto Defiance coach is right, then I just figured, you know, I would give you guys an idea of how drastic this could be and just kind of a heads up just because the games might be canceled and I don't want any of you guys to be really disappointed. Hopefully this isn't the case. Hopefully they do get to play and hopefully they get to do it safely. But until then, we will find out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.